two beautiful ladies were with me a few evenings ago. And one of them was accompanied by her mother. She was not amused at all. She was not amused. And uh, she was determined this time to fight for her integrity. Even if she, she'll ask a few questions, will be directed at a few offices of authority. And what else is she going to do? And this time she'll get a lawyer involved. It was to do with her grading, the usual grading for sex or sex for grading that we're talking about not too long ago. Mm. And she says for four years she's been trying to resist, you know, the efforts by one or two of the lecturers. And she didn't think they would have the audacity to do what they did to her as she was passing out. Not only are said brilliant girls getting unfair deals, like what I've just described, but apparently sometimes the dumb ones get upgraded, either first or second class honors or whatever it is, when everybody knows they are not worth it. I would like to see, just as I would advocate for, markers, external markers, looking into, re, uh, what do you call it, remarking, mm -hmm. examining those papers by some of those girls. I would wish they would examine some of the first class ones too, to see if their performance, their written what you call, corresponds to the mark they've been given. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Why should we be taking human beings through such humiliations? Nothing is as bad, as corrupt, and as corruptible as breaking what I keep calling the moral fabric of a society. And nothing can be so bad, as bad as this. I feel pain because we're talking about the key to your future, to life. See, do you get me? I do.